Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on a 2009 Yamaha Grizzly 550. It was running great, and I guess the battery went dead. And they said they discharged the battery, but on some of these units, if you boost the battery, you could fry the ECU unit. So we're going to do some wire checking and see if we can't get this running again. So hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I'm going to turn the key switch on here. You can hear the fuel pump kicking and everything, but when you push the starter button, it kicks over, but I don't want to start. And on the, on the video dash there, it's blinking an E. And I called a Yamaha Tech, and having an E on there is not good. So we're going to do some testing and see if that ECU is bad or not. So Okay, I tested all the fuses and everything. The fuse here is good. The fuse here is good. fuse here is good. And that's good. So the next step we're going to do, we're going to take this bar off here. Take the battery out. And the ECU and it's sitting right down here. And this bar holds a battery thing, and that's 10 millimeter. Take out the battery. Use either a 10 millimeter wrench or a Phillips screw. I like putting the screws back in there because there's that sliding nut that's underneath that way you don't lose it go ahead and slide that out two 10 millimeter bolts hold that on And a lot of these four wheelers that are fuel injected and everything that's all electronic and everything, the best thing to do is actually unhook the battery and put a trickle charger on it. That's the best way to charge these batteries, especially you know, either take the negative off or the positive off, or just take them both off and just trickle charge it because sometimes. People will put the charger on there and put on um, boost or something. It just fries everything out. And there we go. We got it popped out here. Just push that little button in and pop them out. And that's our ECU. Yeah, imagine them things ain't cheap. Okay, I went down to Power Sports Nation down in Norfolk, Nebraska. It's like one of the biggest salvage yards for four wheelers around here. And I got a, a good used one. They said it came off a running machine with no no codes or nothing like that. And this was five hundred dollars just for this little thing here. So Go ahead and plug them in. Make sure they click. And we'll go ahead and get her bolted up here. It's actually in a pretty easy place to get in and out. I see them in a lot worse place than this. Then while you're doing all this, kind of like scan all your wires and everything because mice love eating the coating off wires on four wheelers for some reason.
Go ahead and get them snugged up. Okay, now we can go and reinstall the battery. Here's our old ECU. We'll get that discarded. We got these extra wires here. It must have like a sprayer or something that they use. Personally, if I had a four-wheeler like this, I'd I'd use a separate battery. But go ahead and snug that up. Put our safety cover on there. Get them all snugged up. Put our bar back on. All right. Just make sure nothing's bound up there. <clears throat> 